Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be reviewing and talking about Affinity Designer 1.7. This is the recent installment or the recent update to the Affinity line of design. And so just in case you don't know what Affinity Designer is or you're new to it, it is a vector-based program that you can use to create UIs, you know, UX designs, logos, posters, and all those incredible things that you want to get printed and probably share on social media as well. So Affinity Designer is a direct response to Illustrator. It does a whole lot of things way better than Illustrator in my opinion, being a user of this for about, let's say two years now. And I, I was actually saying CorelDRAW does a whole lot of things way better and way smarter than Illustrator. And now Affinity is here and there's still a couple of things that you need to give and take, especially when you're making use of this app. Like for example, there is no ruler in any of these two apps, but CorelDRAW has a ruler and that makes a lot of sense, especially when you're measuring things like arcs and you know maybe you're measuring distances between two different objects. So let's get right into it. The app by default has a very minimal UI. You can see, you can tell, you can smell it. The UI is very minimal. These guys ain't kidding with you. You can see that from here. They have also talked about performance, which I have noticed is a great deal of something that they've worked on. It's not the best, but yes, it works. You can also tell that around this section, all right, you have very minimal controls. First things first, let's actually take a quick dive into the preference so you can see how the preference look and we can find that preference if we go over to edit and preference yes so within this section you'll be able to find the preference and you can see how this preference looks compared to the other two apps that i've just talked about so the first feature that actually made sense to me is when they say that the pen it now supports pen. So we're going to try that out. I'm going to try that out by using a simple pencil. And all right, so it works. Previously it was working though. So this is more like, you know, testing to make sure that it still works because sometimes they release these apps and for some reason they break a lot of things while doing that. It works so good. So let me go ahead and play with some of the brushes. Okay, so this works and let me just uh, sign. All right. I actually need to turn this off so that you, if you, if you want to get this to work properly, you actually need to turn that off. And another thing that makes sense for me is the controller. You can choose to use pressure as your controller. So if you're using pressure as your controller, you can see we're having this very uh, nicely looking uh, movement going on here. So if you, if you add more pressure, less pressure. All right. So you can see these things going on here. So these things, they still get to work. What else are we looking at? Yes, there is also an update to the pen. They say there is a new mode added to the pen, which is known as Sculpt. And we can find that here. So for this, I think it's best to just zoom in a little bit more and so that we can take a very good look at it. So I'm just going to go back and select the pencil okay and we're going to take a quick look at this so by default once you do your default drawing as a vector you get to find it like this all right no problems no pressure but then without this turned on if i come through and draw like this i'm drawing a second object so if i come over and draw here i'm drawing a second object and just in case you don't know you have this uh, history directly here. So if you save your file as affinity, your history would always remain. Even if you shut down the PC, come back, you can still find your history, all right? So if you save your file as affinity file, make sure you save it with history, then you can be able to find that, okay? So with this done, next thing which we're going to do is to see how the sculpt actually adds up. So for the sculpt, for you to make use of the sculpt, you need to turn it on. You need to activate the sculpt. And now if I come over and draw, all right, you can see it adjusts this and it fixes it properly. If I come back here and I draw something like this, you can see I can now direct how I want these things to actually be. 
all right so if i cut this from here you can see that that channel cuts through if i do something like that and you can see i can now you know add direct my uh, object the way i want it to actually look like okay so i can now go ahead and make you know some very uh, funny looking characters like that so makes a lot of sense the sculpt works uh, other things that they actually talked about that still works for this other one is the new uh, point transform tool. So if I grab onto this object now, let's just quickly try that and see. And I make a simple selection here. With this selection here, I can now click over, all right, to the mode. Uh, let me just make sure I grab a whole lot more. And I can click over to the mode and use this to actually rotate this particular tool the way i want it all right i can use this to do whatever thing i want to do with this so if you want to shrink it you want to stretch it all those things you can go ahead and you know continue and work with them and let's just leave this section for a bit and go over to the pixel so i'm going over to this particular section known as the pixel and within the pixel so i'm just going to select one all the way up to this and simply uh, let's just simply group them. So I'm going to simply group all of them. All right. So what I'm going to do now is just simply turn this off. And with this here, you can see I have protect alpha turned on. So we protect alpha turned on. You would not be able to actually draw. So I'm going to turn this off. And now you can see I have this. So the symmetry is a brand new thing that has been added. All right. So if you want to mirror what you're working on, you can have that okay but once you turn on uh, symmetry you can have the mirror happen but without symmetry turned on you're going to have it ah, shit. so with the symmetry is a brand new thing that has been added so you can go ahead and turn this on and you can use this to create some very interesting interesting things so i can just start off by you know making something like this and let's say we make something like that something like this as well and at any point in time because from the website and also i've confirmed that you can make actually 32 different symmetries and it simply means that when you split this and split this into five different parts it becomes 32. so with this now we can let's say we let's actually change this color and uh, let's change this color to something like this all right and so we can add something extra there and I'm just going to go all the way to a point like this. All right. So we can add something there, something much more contrasting could be nice. And you can turn this down as much as you want. So yeah, we can turn this down as much as we want. So these are updates and these are like the features that has been showed up and you know they've actually said that these things are things that they've worked on other things that they've talked about is uh, the hdr monitor support and there is and there's also an unlimited amount of strokes that you can add to your object you can still go ahead and you know lasso your nodes as well all right so let's say we go back let's say we go back uh, to this other section and let me just go ahead and turn this off and also turn this on so with this selected now you will be able to lasso them okay so let's say i make a selection of one of these so i'm just going to turn this open so if i make a selection of this uh i mean if you hold down alt you'll be able to lasso around i can still notice a bit of lag when it comes to uh, some of the performance issues here but it's definitely faster than what it used to be before all right so uh this is also something cool that they've actually talked about they've also added feature for the history here and it's not really something that i've come to notice that much but yes it's something that they've also uh, added they talked about something they talked about arrowheads and actually since when i started trying out the new features that comes with this i've not been able to kind of find or see the arrowhead i think it might be something that they are going to put in a much more later release but for now this doesn't actually exist here i've been going around trying to see if i can find them but nope 
they don't exist directly directly here all of these tools that are procedural they are still here sub procedural i must say so all of these sub procedural tools are still here and yes you can still go ahead and make use of them the same way you know you used to make use of them before and they exist exactly as they were especially when you want to make uh things for logos and all that stuff they still uh, some other stuff that these guys have also kept and which I like a whole lot more. The, the idea that you can go ahead and, you know, come through, add all of this nicely looking stuff, throw in this uh, filters or these styles directly here and still throw in some extra shades, you know, just to play around with these things and still get these things to still remain, all right, and still work for you these are super super cool and these are the basic things which i think these guys have done and i'm really really excited about them this app is crazy and incredible it's something that i would suggest that you go ahead pick it up and use it as either your daily driver or something that you want to work with it doesn't cost that much i think with about 50 to 60 dollars i guess you can get this particular app i'll put a link in the description so you can go ahead and find this app for yourself and make use of it and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and turn on notification and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing if you hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so you don't miss the next video or you don't miss the next episode or you don't miss the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace